Hi, my name is Esther Lubstra and I'm a designer and illustrator. I use a lot of patterns in my work every day and Adobe just keeps making it easier and easier for us to go from our sketchbook to creating full repeat patterns in Illustrator. And one of these tools is Adobe Capture CC. So I like to start out just in my sketchbook drawing free form a lot of times. So the great thing about Adobe Capture CC is you can take these free form sketches and easily transform them into vector art and bring them into Illustrator. So here I'm going to show you Adobe Capture CC and just open the app on your phone and you can see that what comes up are all of my shapes that I've already put in there. Adobe calls them shapes. And I'm going to add another shape. And so here you can see when I click that plus button, I have a line preview. And when you move this slider, uh, you can see that the line is thickening or thinning and it's adding to the line the more I slide the slider up. So then I want to just capture the image. And you can see here that it's showing me a preview of what the vector is going to look like. And I can use this button remove from shape to remove any excess line that I don't want in there. I can also push the other button keep in shape and I can add to my selection. So then I'm going to click next and it's going to make the vector image right in front of me in the preview. So I'm just going to wait to see what happens with my image and you can see I'm just going to push next and I can name my shape and I can add it to whatever library that I want, my Adobe libraries. And you can see all of these ones that I added already appear in my app. And they also appear when I go to Illustrator or when I go to Photoshop. So here now I'm in Illustrator and I've brought up a new document and I wanna go to my library and you can see all of my shapes, my vector images, appear in the library. You can also see that I have color palettes and colors and fonts in my library. Now I'm just going to drag my shape onto my artboard and resize it there. So now this sketch is a vector image. And you can see I might have to clean it up a little bit because there is some excess spots that I missed. So I'm just going to delete those. And I'm just going to go to Object Ungroup. And when I click off of this, these are all separate items, separate objects. So I can select these funky extra pieces and delete them. And in the next video, I'm going to show you how to create a repeat pattern from this sketch that I had in my sketchbook. Thanks for watching.